So I wanna talk about the unsexy side of fitness, because let's face it, the IG world of fitness is not really the truth much of the time. And what does that mean and what does it look like? We're gonna be talking about that in today's episode, so strap in and get ready for episode 153. Let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk Podcast. Hey, welcome to today's episode. My name is Brian Parody. I will be your host today. And before we dive into today's episode, if you're ready to take your training to a new level, and by new level, I mean really nail down your foundation, then I offer one-on-one training. You can find out more about it at my website, bonestobulk.com. But basically, I customize a workout plan and meal plan for you. It's dependent on what equipment you have, what your schedule is like, your likes and dislikes when it comes to food. It's custom for you. It's not cookie cutter because God knows we don't need any more cookie cutter stuff out there. All right. So if you're interested in that, it's an eight week program. I meet with you every week over Zoom and we talk and we chat and we work through the mental and the physical issues that you're facing because you don't have to go this alone. So if you're interested in that, head on over to bonestobulk.com or just shoot me a message on any social media platform. I'm at Bones to Bulk everywhere. If you have more questions on it, we can schedule kind of a consult call where I can just explain a little bit more about what we'll be doing. All right. With that being said, let's dive into our episode. So when it comes to fitness, you know, it can be flashy, very flashy. It can be very easy to get caught up in this. I have to have the perfect body and the perfect diet and the Instagram picture that shows everything's perfect. And it's just, let's face it, it's just not very realistic. And so what I want to break down is how how it's the very common, very boring, very unflashy things that truly bring a change when it comes to our fitness. Now, I say all the time, like motivation is very fleeting. Motivation doesn't last. It's here today and gone tomorrow. One day you'll be super pumped to work out and the next you're going to be just like wanting to pull the covers over your head, eat a bunch of cake and pizza and just skip the workout. I get it. Like I still have days where I don't want to go to the gym. That's the hard reality of it. Just this morning. um, No, not this morning. It was yesterday morning. Days run together sometimes. Yesterday morning, I woke up and I was like, you know what? I woke up a little bit late. I I missed a couple snoozes. And so it was already a little bit late. I'm like, I could skip the gym today. You know, I've been going hard for a while. And then I laid there for like five minutes. I'm like, you know what? Why? Like I need to go get your ass out of bed and go. And so I say this not to be like, you know, discourage you like, oh, your days are gonna be crappy some days, but in the reality of it, yeah, some days you're not gonna wanna work out. Some days you're not going to want to eat healthy and that's okay to, you know, admit our weaknesses, admit that it's not always fun going to the gym. Like it's not always fun staying healthy and working out. Are the benefits and what you get out of it worth the cost? I believe so. Absolutely. Or else I wouldn't be doing it. I know what it does for me. I know how it changes me, but I just want to bring the hard reality home that it's not always easy and you will not always be motivated. You won't be. It's just part of the way it works. But here's the cool thing. When you get into the daily grind, that daily habit of, you know, getting up and going to the gym or the daily habit of prepping food so that you're not going through drive through or the daily habit of making sure you get up and walk around every hour or the daily habit of drinking 72 to 96 ounces of water, the daily habit of packing healthy snacks so that you're not going to the vending machine, the habit of eating whole foods and nutritious foods and not relying solely on supplements. That's where it's at. That's where the magic happens. The magic doesn't happen with some crazy supplement you take, with some fad diet, with some newfangled piece of workout equipment. The magic happens when you continually do those day in and day out things without, you know, expecting something immediately in return. I reference all the time The Compound Effect, a book by Darren Hardy. And if you've never read it, please pick up a copy. I mean, go to your library. I love how libraries have apps now where you can literally just check out audiobooks on the app directly to your phone. I do that all the time. It's incredible. If you've not done that, do it. But read that book. If anything else, it will teach you that making one small change over the course of a year has a huge impact 
on your life. And I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you drink one can of soda a day. One can. Let's let's say you don't eat healthy and you're just living your life and not working out, yada, yada. And you decide, you know what? I'm going to keep everything the same, but I'm going to eliminate one can of soda and replace it with water. Do you know what that comes to in the course of a year? It comes to the equivalent of almost 15 pounds. That's right. Almost 15 pounds from one 12 ounce can of soda every single day. Now, in hindsight, you know, you think, well, if I just give up one can of soda a day, that's not really doing much. It's not going to have any effect. Really? 15 pounds is a pretty big deal. And so, you know, I'm not saying that that's all you have to do to get in shape. But what I'm saying is you can make a small change and do it repeatedly, do it continually and see big results. Doesn't have to be some huge jump in head first thing in order to make change. It doesn't. Like if that's your thing and you want to dive in head first, I'm all for that. But I know for a lot of people that's very hard to do because we have all these habits. We have all these bad habits, I should say. We have all these, you know, mental blocks and emotions tied to our food and the way we live. And so it can be difficult. But I want to encourage you to, what is that one thing you can do today? What is that one thing you can do next week and the week after that? You know, make a, make a list of just a few things, nothing overwhelming, nothing too crazy. Just make a list of four or five things that you can work on over the next couple months of giving up and replacing with something healthy. For example, soda for water or sweet teas for water or Gatorades for water, or maybe switching up the candy bar for some almonds or a non-fat Greek yogurt cup. Maybe it's swapping out the ground beef for chicken. Maybe it's swapping out the steak for chicken or the hamburger for fish. You know, it doesn't have to be crazy stuff right off the bat. Slow, steady steps win the race. They truly do. And so if you take anything away from this podcast, I want you to take away the fact that fitness is not always fun. It's not always flashy. It's not the perfect world that Instagram, and I know I'm picking on Instagram, but the social media in generally pictures it to be. It's just not. It's ugly. It's sweaty. It's smelly. It's hard work. It's tears. It's struggle. It's sometimes two steps forward and one step back. And sometimes you fall on your face and sometimes you screw up and undo an entire week's worth of work. I get it. It happens, but that's just the reality of it. You know, you can't expect to take however old you are. Maybe you're 18, maybe you're 30, maybe you're 60, maybe you're 80. Like you can't just take however many years old you are and immediately change it all in a week or even a month. It will take years to undo what it took to get you to the point you're at now. You know, if it took you 20 years to get where you're at now, what makes you think you're going to undo it in a month? You know what I'm saying? Like we've got to approach this from a, this is a for life change and I'm going to make slow, steady changes that I continue to uphold week after week and month after month that are sustainable that I can do. And I'm going to make those steps, those baby steps to bigger steps and bigger steps. And it's going to be this slow, gradual thing to where I'm finally on top of things. And you can get there. You can just don't rush it. Don't be overwhelmed by all these flashy stuff out there. Like you can accomplish your goals. You truly can. All right. If this podcast brings any help to you, I would ask that you do one thing for me. Just one thing. Head on over to iTunes. Even if you don't use iTunes, you know, unfortunately in the podcasting world, things are very number driven. <laughs> and while I don't really like numbers, I do want to get this message out to more people because I think it's important. I think more people need to hear this kind of stuff because we're inundated with so much complicated stuff. And so long story short, if you've got a second, and you enjoy this podcast, please just leave us a review. Write a little comment, leave a five-star review. It helps boost the algorithms and all that stuff in the online space so that more people will see the podcast and listen. And if you could take a minute out of your day and do that, I would be so appreciative of that. That would mean the world to me. With that being said, whatever you're going through, whatever struggles you're currently facing, because I get it, there are a lot of struggles in fitness, but trust me, you can accomplish them. You can hit your goals. You've got this. 